Welcome to the AACS Daily News for December 28, 2018. Attleboro Mayor Paul Hero recently proposed a Little Lungs Ordinance that would aim to protect children from secondhand smoke while in vehicles. Mayor Hero spoke to us about the details of the proposal. The Little Lungs Bill came about because back in 2012, when I was knocking on doors, a constituent in Attleboro named Ronna Schaefer asked me to file legislation to ban smoking when kids are in a car. And I agreed with that immediately. I thought it was something that should go without uh, legislation. But unfortunately, people kind of like texting and driving and driving without a seatbelt or driving without a car seat. Uh, people still do these things. So we, that was something I supported readily. Uh, we put it through at the State House. Uh, it went and it passed out of the Public Health Committee and then the Health Care Finance Committee in my first two terms as a state rep. But then on my third term, it didn't come out of either committee. It's just sort of a hit or miss. So now I'm here in Attleboro, and I thought I would file this here in Attleboro to make it a local bylaw. It does have a lot of support, and I believe it probably will pass. There are some people who believe that this is a little bit of overreach by the government, and it's too far into the lives of pe uh, people, the private lives of people. But I disagree with that. Uh, there are plenty of states in the country. I think there are six or eight states in the country that already do this, and there are numerous municipalities throughout the country that do this. Bahrain uh, has implemented this as law, and England has done this as of October of 2015. So there are a number of countries that are already doing it. Um, there are a number of states, a number of municipalities, and there's already precedent for this. It, there is a situation where people have to put their kids in a car seat if they're going to drive in a car because they can't endanger their kids while in a car. This is just another uh, extension of protecting kids. That's why we call it an act to protect little lungs. So as far as enforcement goes, enforcement wouldn't be anything I'm too concerned about. It would be no different than uh, texting and driving. It would be no different than uh, kids who are not in a car seat when they're supposed to be in a car seat. It'd be no different than a seatbelt. This is something that if the police see someone with uh, a cigarette or any type of you know smoking device in a car and they can identify that the uh, child's in a car seat the person could be pulled over and uh, fined for that. I disagree with anybody who would say that these types of laws are not effective because some people just by virtue of knowing that a law exists won't do it anymore. Um, now the uh, certainty of getting caught is more important than the severity of the punishment and if this is being done in a public way on a road then there is an increased chance of somebody being detected if they are driving uh, while smoking and having a kid in a car seat so uh, it, that's something that I'm not too I, I disagree with that this would not be enforceable it's like any other chapter 90 moving violation. We have over 300 chapter 90 moving violations, which chapter 90 is chapter 90 of Mass General Law. And what that means is that, you know, there's, there's different types of speeding violations, different, like uh, different types of recklessness motor violations. Uh, there's, there's over 300 things. This would just be one more of those. Yeah, the fine for um, violating this would be $100, and that would go to uh, the city. And, you know, the, we would basically put that into the general fund. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm David Angel.